This is lesson two of a four lesson series on the graphics user interface. And we're back in our superheroes program we're writing, which has a picture box which currently doesn't show anything but has five pictures saved behind it as resources behind it figuratively. And to put a uh, a menu strip on the uh, form, you can either double click it or drag it on. If you drag it on, it doesn't really matter where you drag it because it's always going to put it at the top. And it's always going to show the menu strip and the component tray at the bottom of the screen. So if we go to the top of the screen, you see the menu bar. And right now all it has in it is... Uh, uh, empty space that says type here. You can actually go over to the uh, uh, common task pop-up and say insert standard menu items and that will put the standard items for a menu bar in, that are in most uh, Windows programs uh, with all the drop-down menu selections uh, which is really nice. I mean it saves you a ton of work to do that but we really don't want to do that so why don't I just delete this by selecting it and uh, writing delete and I'll put another menu strip on here and we'll go up to where it says type here and you click on it and say call the menu item uh, select superhero And then in the first drop down under that, we'll put Superman. You just click on it and it selects it. And you can type in. And then next drop down, we'll put Batman. And the next drop down, put Wonder Woman. This is in the order of their appearance around 1938 to 1940 I think 40 or 41 and then the next would be Green Lantern and the last guy or actually group of guys would be the Flash And the way you uh, put code behind uh, menu items like this is actually the usual way for the, the default event. You just double click on it. So I'm going to double click on Superman. And I'm now in the code that runs behind the uh, form. And I actually should have given these more meaningful names, but what the heck. A Superman tool strip menu item click event and we, what we want to do is set the picture box to the picture of Superman so we call the picture box pick hero so or actually we didn't call it that we just call it picture box one I'm falling down in my naming conventions here but what the heck just select uh, picture box one and click uh, dot should have called it something more meaningful in Hungarian notation like PIC hero but kind of rushing here trying to meet the YouTube time standards <laughs> and then uh, what we want for that is the image so it's I for image and it's already there and hit a space and then an equal sign and then the, we want the form research for, so we select the form form heroes and then hit a dot and then we want properties so I do P R actually it's not associated with the form it's associated with the solution name so belay that it's uh, Windows 
basic GUI dot properties. Now there is a properties dot resources dot and then when, once we get to the resource level we'll see the actual pictures that we so saved in the project overhead uh, as resources and we're in Superman so we want the Superman picture so I select that and hit semicolon to complete the command and now if I go up and hit save and run or start debugging which actually does a compile and then starts it running we'll see our uh, our form with our our uh, menu bar and I click on that and click on Superman and we see Superman appears in the window so I'll hit close. And now I'll do this same thing. Essentially enter this command for each of the the uh uh possible menu selections. Well, I'll show you one more just to get that idea. Click that down and click on uh double click on Batman. And then we do uh picture box one again dot image equals window basic GUI dot properties dot resources dot and this time we want to select the Batman picture so that's Batman small and hit a semicolon to have it auto fill in uh, come back to the form and I actually have the flash picture in the form which we don't want so I select the picture box and go over to uh, image and hit the ellipse and then go over and select none and OK and now if we uh, save and and compile and run this. See there's no picture shown whatsoever. We do a drop down and select Batman and there's the Batman picture. And I'll do that for the other three while we're in pause mode. Alright now we've got all the five pictures in so if I select uh, the flash you know it's at auto sizes so there's no space in the box and Green Lantern and Wonder Woman Batman and Superman so that completes the uh, menu strip part of the four lesson series See you next lesson and focus and learn a lot.